the Wilhelm Gustloff tragedy. Imagine this, it's January 1945 and the largest shipwreck in history is about to happen, making the Titanic look small in comparison. Picture the Wilhelm Gustloff, a German ship packed with more than 10,000 people, including refugees and wounded soldiers, all desperate to escape the advancing Soviet army during the chaos of World War II. Then, in the icy waters of the Baltic Sea, disaster strikes. A Soviet submarine launches three torpedoes, hitting the Wilhelm Gustloff. The ship sinks incredibly fast. Over 9,000 people lose their lives, making it an unthinkable tragedy. What's even more shocking is how this event has been overshadowed by other World War II stories and the Titanic's legacy. It's a piece of history that's both horrifying and fascinating. Young Abraham Lincoln was wrestling champion before presidency. Discover young Abraham Lincoln as a wrestling champion before he was president. In a small Illinois town, he amazed everyone with his strength and skill. Out of 300 matches, he lost only once. His most famous battle? Against Jack Armstrong. Lincoln's fair play and honesty in this match won hearts, showing the character of a future national leader. The Great Stink of 1858. Picture this. It's a hot summer in London, 1858, and the city is in the grip of a crisis. But it's not what you'd expect. It's not a disease or a huge fire. It's a smell. The River Thames has turned into a stinky mess. It's full of untreated human waste and industrial gunk, and the smell is so bad it's even causing trouble for the British Parliament and city life. This smelly disaster, known as the Great Stink, kicks London into action. They realize they need to totally redo their sewage system. Joseph Bazalgette, an engineer who leads this massive cleanup. This isn't just about getting rid of the stink. It's a big moment for urban sanitation and public health. London's never been the same since.